Hey everyone, Anindo here and today I'm gonna show you a very special video. It's actually the the most important video which we all Galaxy Grand owners have been waiting for. It's Cyanogen Mod 11 or Android 4.4.1 KitKat on Samsung Galaxy Grand. Yes, it's finally here and thanks a lot to the XDR developer Pawit P. Without without him we galaxy grand owners who have been would have been running and at 4.2.2 forever okay so special thanks to him and yeah so guys i'll be coming out with three videos of this rom first of all i'll be showing this i mean this rom review and then i'll be coming out with the rom installation guide and then some gaming videos okay so I'll be coming out with installation guide as as because this ROM installation is quite different from any other Cyanogen mod or any other custom ROM which you have installed so far. So okay, so I'll be coming out with that only. Okay, so let me show you the ROM. So this is a lock screen. So this is a lock screen, and here on lock screen we get to select the five application shortcut we can go that directly to here and uh, once you swipe to the right we can directly go to the camera and once you swipe to the left we can view the widgets now also we can add some widgets okay so let's unlock so this is the main interface this is the home screen and it looks fully like Nexus 5 and this ROM is fully stable yes it's fully stable starting from call SMS Wi-Fi data GPS you name it this ROM is fully stable and I have I've personally tested the call quality of this ROM it's crystal clear that Cyanogen mod uh, low volume call issue has been solved thanks to Powit P again and so this is the many home screen here we find the new dialer and also the new on many things new I'll be showing out so just keep and uh, if you start to the left here we get the Google now here in Kolkata we have 20 degree weather right now this is the notification panel okay so let's go to settings guys one more thing I wanna mention that many of you have asked me to keep this keep the videos keep all my videos under five minutes but I'm sorry this video is not possible to keep under five minutes as this video is very important at least I would I would say this is the most important video on Samsung Galaxy Grand okay so I can't keep it under five minutes so please be with me okay so I'll try I'll try to make it short but can't keep under five minutes okay so in settings we get wireless options like Wi-Fi Bluetooth data usage airplane and here we can select the default SMS app like messaging or hangout okay I've selected hangout but you can select messaging also tethering mobile data mobile plan okay mobile broadcast in uh, in launcher settings we get uh, home lock screen in home we can select the launchers which we like to use okay the default launcher in lock screen here we can select the widgets maximize widget clock widget along with the weather panel and in themes we can download lots of themes from play store which supports cyanogen mode in interface we can do some changes in status bar okay like changing the battery icon in quick settings panel like this one here we can change some quick pull down from the right edge or to also layout all these things 
this sound we get to select the sounds and this things okay without further ado let me show you the android version because i know everyone is waiting for that so in android version uh, so here we get android version 4.4.1 which is kitkat on our samsung galaxy grand wow i can't imagine my grand is running 4.4.1 Okay, and here is the famous KitKat logo. Guys, can't you can you imagine our Galaxy Grand running 4.4.1? <laughs> wow! And uh, it's running on the base band UBMK1. Okay, and it's Cyanogen Mod 11. And the build date is December. 10 and today is December 11 Wow okay and uh, so I was in uh, display so in display we get to uh, change the brightness wallpaper slip after one minute I'm in the screen timeout daydream daydream is correct I have turned it off because I don't like it in fonts we can select the font size like that Okay, in buttons we get to do uh, we get to select the options which you like in power menu means this one in backlight means this light we can uh, we can mention the time like two seconds or five seconds or action overflow may not be visible until app is restarted okay I think this one all right guys this is the main menu. with four icons in five rows by default once you install this rom by default it uh, you get about 3.2 gb okay, i have downloaded some i have downloaded some applications that's why it's, it came down to 2.58 i've been running this rom for about 2 hours 42 minutes so i can't comment about the battery life but yeah i think it's good like the launch music application in in location we get to select the mode like uh, location with high accuracy or battery saving mode in high, in high accuracy the gps wi-fi and mobile network will all will work and will try to determine your accurate position in battery saving mode only wi-fi and mobile network will work uh, here we in here in developer option we can select the runtime like Delvic or Art Android runtime. But I have selected the Android runtime before and just to test. And once I reboot my phone, every Google applications like Google Drive, Google Maps, Google uh, Play Store, all these things started force closing. I don't know why. So let's better keep it in Delvic right now. And to change your wallpaper, just put, to change your wallpaper, just select this menu button, and here we have the wallpaper list. Okay, here we get to select the widgets. Here in settings, we can. Uh, mention to turn on Google Now or phone search or voice. I'll show you the new dialer which we get in Android 4.4 KitKat. Okay, so this is the new dialer which you get on Android 4.4 KitKat, and in this dialer, you can even do some voice search like if you want to search for some famous places like cafe coffee day or kfc or mcdonald's or uh, like uh, search for the airport phone number okay so this dialer we search for it on the internet and will give you the phone number i haven't tested out but google says it's possible so it must be possible 
okay so this is the camera you this is a camera application so let's let's do a video recording So guys the picture quality came out to be pretty sharp let's play the video okay so uh, camera video recording and uh, camera also works even the front camera also works i have tested out now let me show you the android benchmarks which are now i ran android benchmark earlier and it gave me a score of 10891 on my samsung galaxy grand running 4.4.1 kitkat or cm11 Alright, now let me show you the default music player which came with. This is the default music player, Apollo. I have downloaded Play Music and it works beautifully. Guys, even I forgot to mention one thing that uh, even on lock screen, uh, we get a full screen music player album art. Alright, so video playback also works just fine. Now next comes Bluetooth. Bluetooth also works fine. I've tested myself. Wi-Fi also works great. Even GPS also. So what's left? Okay, contacts. Let me show you the contacts application. So this is a contact application. Okay. Alright. Next. Okay, some uh, I've seen that uh, one member in XDA commented that third party applications like Facebook, Twitter can't access the SD card, which is totally wrong. I guess he haven't updated his applications that way. That's why. In 4.4, you need to be updated you need to update every application then only it will run fine and uh, here I have downloaded greenify and it works beautifully oh even uh, one more thing which I forgot that even auto brightness also works fine okay even Play Store also works fine. Let's see if I can load Play Store as I'm quite far away from my Wi Fi network right now. Guys, don't worry, Play Store also works fine. I know. So, yeah, that's it. And I'll be coming out with the installation guide. Okay. So, yeah, enjoy. And. Uh, if you like this video then please click the like button and I'll be posting the links to the ROM and also the Google application G apps. So enjoy and take care. See ya.